All right, what is going on guys? So back here on the Facebook Live tonight and not Instagram Live, so this is just me. You guys can hear me uh, rant for a little bit, okay? I'm actually coming in <laughs> a little heated. I just got done uh, literally yelling at my other trainer, coworker, not at him, but you know, just light it off steam. Um, the people that I follow on the social media aspect of side, whether it is just a fitness influencer, usually, actually, it's usually the coaches, they get me pissed off more than the fitness influencer. Um, and I think that's just because our ideologies a lot of time bash. Uh, for example, I would say probably a good 50 to 60% of nutrition coaches out there, of online coaches out there, um, hate counting calories and kind of base off of everything that they do about why it sucks and why it doesn't work. Um, that's fine if you wanna base your entire business or your entire personality pretty much on why counting calories, you know, why you don't use counting calories, why you don't like, you know, have your clients uh, weigh their food and scale and all that. But to say that it goes to a part where it's a waste of time and it doesn't work is lit is fucking ridiculous. All right? I don't care if I swear in here. It's, it's fucking ridiculous, all right? Because then by that logic, Every single person who has ever tried to count their calories and track their food in the MyFitnessPal app that literally everyone has would just fail. Therefore, like it would not work for everyone, all right? I'm a big believer in like counting calories is not for everyone. However, it works. It 100% works for a lot of people, all right? So it, it just pisses me off when a lot of people just take this away and they say, oh, like it's really bad, creates a bad relationship with food and all this stuff. I'm sorry, but like, in my opinion, understanding the food that's you're intaking into your body does not create a bad relationship. Just because you realize, you start to realize that the pizza you're having each night isn't 500 calories, it's 1500 calories, just so that you understand, you know, like the chicken that you're having each day, it's not 100 grams of protein, you're only getting in 25 grams of protein, that doesn't create a bad relationship with food. That creates more of an understanding so that you can actually go and make the changes that you need to make, all right? So it's insane to me that people still kind of bash cat counting your calories at this point. Yes, it works for, it. Does, yes, it's not for everyone, but it works at the end of the day. So that is the rant coming into this. But we're gonna get into the main thing here, all right? So fats is what we're talking about today. Um, the main thing, we'll get to the bacon part at the end, why you actually should have bacon and why it actually could benefit you. Uh, but first, I wanna start to explain a little bit why we need fats, all right? One thing you have to understand first, all right? You're not gonna get fat from intaking fat. This is the biggest thing coming out of like the 60s, the 70s, this is like the first thing of nutrition. Everyone's like, if you have fat, you're gonna get fat. It's going to happen. This is what I thought back when I was in high school and even early days of college. I had that uh, photo I had on my Instagram story was me like literally trying to get in the least amount of fat possible. I was trying to like consume, it was only carbs and um, protein pretty much. I was just trying to get that stuff in the whole time. All right. You need fats for like multiple reasons. You literally need fats to live. All right, I think that's a pretty good reason there. I know that some of you might disagree with me talking to uh, uh, Madison out there. She might disagree with me, but I feel like living is a pretty good reason. All right, so just the main thing here, it's a good source of energy, all right? If we look at, if you are a marathon runner, if you just do uh, like zone two, steady state cardio, um, anything like that, like the fat becomes the main source of energy um, for like walking and all that stuff. So you definitely need fats, all right, just to literally provide your body with energy, all right? Hormone function and regulation, all right? So it's going to pretty much uh, help create the hormones and help actually regulate them throughout the body, all right? This is sort of an overlooked topic when we think about hormones, but we're not gonna get into it too much today, but fat is gonna be necessary for that. A lot of times we can look at the people that we look at most or when they go to bodybuilders, um, when they start to go on their cut, a lot of times the hormones just get like totally thrown out of place and all that because the main thing that they like to take away is gonna be the fat. And the reason being is that, is what I'm gonna talk about right now, the reason being is that one gram of fat all right, equals nine calories. All right, one single gram of fat equals nine calories. So 
this is what we need to understand that at the end of the day, it is calories in calories out. If you're intaking more calories than you are literally burning, you're going to gain weight or you're going to put yourself in a position that is going to make it a little bit easier to gain weight. All right. It's not the great, it's not the fat itself. It's the calories that are in the fat that add up at the end of the day. Okay. That's not to say that you shouldn't get in any sort of fat. So don't be scared of fat, right? Just know that it is a very calorie dense macronutrient. It's the most calorie dense macronutrient that we have. All right, protein and carbs is only four, uh, four calories per one gram. All right, the other one is just organ function. This goes back to the idea of just living. We need to live. We want to live. I would hope so. And if you don't, then we need to talk separately. Okay. But I hope that you want to live. I really do. Uh, so you need fats to literally just live and survive. All right. Very quickly, I want to go over sort of the different kinds of fats. Uh, this is going to be the boring part of the lecture. So just hang with me. I'll try to run through it a little bit and then we'll get to the fun thing about the bacon. Okay. But boring part of lecture. Here we go. All right. But the main part, I'll move this over here so you guys can see this here. All right. Also, I think the whiteboard edition is a lot better than just me being here and talking to you. All right, so you have something else to look at than this face right here, even though I don't know why you want to, wouldn't want to look at me the whole time, but there's a board here. So polysaturated fats, all right? Fish, canola, all right? Uh, seed oil, all that stuff, all right? These are the types of polysaturated fats. A lot of, this is where we go into like the omega-6s, omega-3s. Okay, a lot of times we're getting in a lot more omega-3s. What we want to get in is omega-6s. Uh, we want to get in both. I should re-clarify that. We want to get in both, but we want to get probably more omega-6s than omega-3s. The best way that I can relate to this is that if you do um, have a supplement for this, like a fish oil, or you're just taking in like the, um, excuse me, like omega-3s or omega-6s, go for the omega-6s. All right, if you're going to take it in a supplement, go for that. All right, so... Polysaturated, done, checked off the list. Vinyl saturated right here. Olive oil, avocados. Probably the best things when people talk about good sources of fat, this is probably what they're talking about, all right? The extra virgin olive oil, all right? The avocados. But the other thing that's on this list is gonna be the red meat, all right? This is 50% of the fat in red meat literally comes from monosaturated fats, okay? So once again, don't be afraid of red meat either, all right? That hint, that's gonna come back later on with the bacon, all right? But don't be afraid of red meat either, okay? It's 50% of it is monosaturated, which once again is what pretty much everyone talks about is healthy fat. All right, that's what everyone is always talking about. Have healthy fats, have avocado, olive oil, all that stuff, all right? Saturated fat. This is gonna be really coming from uh, the animal products, the other 50% kind of the red meat a little bit, not, not totally 50%, but it's going to be like what's kind of on chicken there at times. Uh, it's going to be like the butter that they make uh, from cows, you know, stuff like that. All right. That is going to be saturated fat. All right. The last one here is trans fat. This is pretty much all the processed foods. This is like when you have a frozen pizza, this is uh, when you, when you have pretty much anything processed, I can't really think of anything that comes to mind, but pretty much anything processed, uh, that is going to be more of the trans fat. Um, even that I would say is not horrible for you. Um, definitely regulate that as little as you can, but like it, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like I think if you were to drink gasoline, I think it'd be worse than having trans fat. That's just my take. That's just my take. All right. So let's go into this here. Let's go into the fun one that I was talking about. All right. So the bacon here is interesting. Let me, I need to pull up my notes real fast for this. But the bacon here is interesting because I think bacon gets deemed like a really shitty food, but a really good food. As in like, it's really bad for you, but it tastes so freaking good. And I'm with you on that. And I used to do that a lot and be like, no, nah, you don't want to have bacon. Like you don't want that stuff. Have, have good fats, have the olive oil, have, have, the, have the avocado. All right, at the end of the day, Draw my marker. At the end of the day, all right, all that matters is that you're getting in a balance of this stuff, all right, and it's not totally one-sided on each. Yeah, I would probably focus a little bit more on the polysaturated and monosaturated, aka the olive oil, the red meats, the avocado, the fish, the oil, all right, and the omega-6s. If you can take one thing out of that, that's the one thing you should take away. Let me see if I have another marker here. I do. I need to hold something when I talk. All right. Going into the bacon here, okay? 
Let's look at the fat that literally makes up the bacon. Let's do that first, all right? And then we'll go into the calories and how you can actually have it. All right, the fat that makes up the bacon is literally the stuff on this list, all right? And guess what? Hint, it is not the trans fat. It's not the trans fat, all right? So the fat that everyone deems to be the worst fat ever isn't even in bacon, all right? It's not even in bacon. All right, let's go over the numbers here. So what percentage of fat is actually in the bacon? All right, so bacon starting off is gonna be 50% saturated fat, okay? That makes sense. Saturated fat is mostly animal products, okay? That makes sense, okay? So 50% of the fat in bacon is from saturated fat, all right? Let's see, 40% is monosaturated fat. Wait a second, wait a, wait a second. You're telling me, I don't know why I'm doing better right now. Um, monosaturated fat, the good, healthy fat that everyone talks about, that all you see on the news, that all you see all the dietitians talk about, all this health scientists talking about the olive oil and all that good stuff, right? That is literally 40% of the fat that's in bacon, all right? 40%, that's a pretty big number. And the last final 10%, is gonna be the polysaturated, all right? So, you have 10%, you have 40%, and you have 50%, all right? I'm not good at counting unless it's in 45s and a plate, all right? But I'm pretty sure that equates to 100, all right? So, what does this mean? It means that we can have bacon and deem it as a decent, sor decent source of fat. Right, we should not be scared of bacon and assume that it's going to kill us. However, we need to come back to this. All right, we need to come back to this. At the end of the day, fat is going to be a much higher calorie macronutrient. Nine calories per one gram. So if we go into it and we think, okay, I'm having all my good fats, all right, let's say you just load up on bacon because you possibly could, and I don't know the, the total side effects behind, but you possibly could, all right? How many calories are you gonna have? Because I'm telling you, because if you can tell me straight to my face that you can sit there and have one piece of bacon at a time, you're a liar. You, you are a liar. Because I don't think anyone can do that. That's, you know, I, I will give you money if you can't, because that is just impressive. Chances are you're gonna sit down and you're gonna have three, four, five. If you're like me, you don't really care and you're just gonna have 10 or 15 and you say, screw it, I'll just go work out harder tomorrow, okay? That's what I do, which side side note, whoever says that you should never have work at, working out as a form of punishment uh, is an idiot because there are definitely times for that that you should, okay? Rants, rant, you, the more that you guys tune in to these live trainings, the more you're gonna see the uh, the rant side of me come out and just tear a new one, all right? So, what do we do then with the bacon? If you're having 15 or 20, that's probably too much because you're just gonna go up in the calories and all of a sudden, you've hit so much. Uh, you've intaken so many calories in this short amount of time and you've probably already gotten in enough fat at that time or at least you've gotten in a lot of fat at that time and you're not leaving room later on in the day, all right, to get in more fat. So let's say, I'm gonna switch markers here. So let's say, I can't turn this. Let's say the total amount of fat you need in a day is 100 grams. All right, it's 100 grams, theoretically, all right? And then you have 15 pieces of bacon because you want to. Let's not do 15, let's do 10. That's a little more realistic. Do 10 pieces of bacon, all right? Off the top of my head, I don't know how much, you know, it's, it's probably around uh, six to, you know, six to eight grams of fat and like a couple pieces of bacon. Um, let's just say you get around like 50 grams of fat. Actually, that's a lot. Let's say about 40 grams of fat. All right. 40 grams of fat in one meal. That is in one singular meal. You've just only left yourself with 60 grams for the rest of the day. And even that, I even might be downplaying that a little bit. But this is just an example of, Yes, the fat in bacon is good. However, 
it's pretty much only fat. You're not really getting a lot of protein out of it. You're not getting really any carbs out of it. So we just have to understand that if we're gonna have the bacon, we can't have a lot of it at the same time. And if you do, you have to understand that the fat the rest of the day should be minimal, all right? And that might screw you over, all right? Um, chances are, let, let me tell you this, all right? The majority of the time that I have bacon is gonna be on Saturday and Sunday. Uncoincidentally enough, Saturday and Sunday is when I tend to lean back on my diet the most. And I tend to really relax myself. All right, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. All right, Saturday, Sunday, the weekend, I'm like, all right, we can, we can pull off the gas pedal a little bit. I'm gonna enjoy myself a little bit, all right? Saturday night, I go and have 15 Miller Lights, all right? Just cause, I, and then I go home and I stuff my face with pizza. Done it before. You know how much fat is in that pizza then? You know, you know how much we're intaking, all right? No. Having the one bad day is not gonna kill you, okay? But what you need to understand is that if you continue this trend, over time, it is going to build up. It is going to start to affect you if you don't want that, all right? And this whole group here, all right, is about building muscle sustainably, all right? Sustainable muscle, what does that mean? It means finding a way that you can live the way that you wanna live, but that also leads to a plan of building the muscle and and like keeping you at your fitness level because we want to get there we want to get there I'm with you guys we want to get to that spot all right if you want to grow your chest we want to do that we want to grow our glutes we want to do that we want to have a better relationship with food we, we want to be able to you know you know get down to a certain body fat percentage we want to get down to a certain weight we want to get up to a certain weight we want to do all this stuff all right but then when we get there, we wanna stay there. And the only way to stay there is to have a sustainable lifestyle that you enjoy, that you like, all right? And so understanding here that yes, you can have bacon, you can have bacon, all right? And you understand, yes, the fat in bacon is actually pretty good for me, but then you also understand it's pretty much only fat, and if I have a lot of it, it's gonna want increase, in, intake all of my fat in one sitting, which is terrible. And two, your calories can go through the roof. If you're in a bulking phase and all you want to do is eat bacon, go for it. All right. But understand at the end of the day, it comes down to calories. It comes down to macros. All right. If you just look at a piece of food and you assume that it's not good for you, double check it. All right. I don't care. Um, I, I really hate, one of the big things I hate is when people say, there's no such thing as a good food and a bad food. And I have become a hypocrite with that because I've agreed with people before. I've had people on Instagram Live when they talk about that, they say, well, like, it's not a good food, it's not a bad food. And I'm like, hold up, yes it is. There are times that like, for you as a person, this is a bad food for you. For you as a person, this is a good food. It depends on what you're doing. It depends on the individual. All right? Yeah, so you guys like that one. All right? But at the same time, have your bacon. All right? Have your bacon. Have your good fat. Don't overdo it. All right? No, you don't need to feel guilty. And if you do, go hard in the gym the next day. Because once again, you can use fitness as a form of punishment every once in a while. That's not the worst thing in the world. All right? I do it. I do it once a week when I regret my weekend activity, my Saturday night activity. I go in the next day on Sunday if, if I'm feeling that good. But I go in on Monday saying, all right, get my shit together. Let's go push myself through this workout because I know that I didn't do the best on Saturday, which is fine. But I know that I'm going to push myself more. All right, once again, if you guys have any questions, I mentioned this in the game, but if you guys have any questions, you guys can just drop it in the chat there because I can see them. Um, that is pretty much the fast right there. Um, I'll hang on here for a couple seconds. If you guys do have any questions, just drop them in. If not, after about a couple minutes, I think I'll just head out. Um, this is what the, the Facebook live trainings on Wednesdays are going to be about 15, 20, 25 minutes of me yelling at you. All right. But hopefully, hopefully you get some info out of it. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. You know what? I still got to send you a shirt. 
I still got to send you a shirt. I, I'm telling you, I wear your Cholo Fit. I was wearing it today. I was wearing it today during my, uh, my squatting session. So I got to send you an Unleashed Physique shirt. Not this one. This is, this is where I work. Don't look at that. Um, I got to send you a shirt. So I will be on that. All right, I got to send it to a couple people down in Arizona, actually. So, um, But yeah, this is going to be the Wednesday live trainings. Uh, I really like the board. I'm not a big slides guy. I did it for the very first live, and I freaking hated it because um, I wanted to... I wanted to turn off the live because it was so boring. Um, and then I did last week's, which was just me talking. And even that was kind of boring. And so now, for whatever reason, if you don't want to look at my pretty face, you can look at my pretty writing and follow along. So it gives you a little bit of social or uh, visual cue. Not social cue, visual cue. All right. But if you guys don't have any questions, I will probably sign off here in just a second. Uh, thank you for those that showed up today. Really appreciate it. All right, this will be an every week sort of thing. Once again, I will be throwing this into the um, into the chat. All right, in the in, not the chat into the group. This whole video will, will be in the group. If you guys want a sort of breakdown here of the fats of everything I just went over, literally everything I just went over. All right, leave a comment. Send me a message. All right, I will send it over to you. I have a really simple PDF. It's not even a PDF. I think it's just a picture all right, of literally the breakdown of everything here. All right, so if you want that, just drop it in the comment below. Um, send me a message. I will do a post tomorrow, um, and I will send that right over to you guys. All right, until then, take care.